Good morning. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day, Aiden. It doesn't work. Okay, well maybe we can color on paper. No. How's, who's my Valentine? Which one he is? I want to eat it. I want to eat, eat it, sweetheart. I want to eat it. They're coloring candy Let's conversation hearts. We're going to eat it. No, we're not going to eat it. Please. We're going to go to breakfast. Yeah, can we eat after breakfast? What is there for breakfast? Yummy everything. Sweet tart tarts. How do you guys sleep? I'm just eating it. What is the what is it say? Date night. Mommy wait. Date night. <laughs> Date night. Happy Valentine's Day. No one's telling me happy Valentine's Day. I'm, thank you, Aiden. I was hoping someone would say it. Thank you, Owie. No, don't eat it. It's too early for candy. Okay? Happy, Happy Valentine's Day. Love you, Dada. Happy Valentine's Day, Andrew. I have it. No, we're gonna see what's in TV. Look, oh look, Curious George. No. Oh, I want bubbles. I want to put the iPad. Only the boys' clothes are there. So the shower's here. Out of control shower pressure, which I love in a hotel. It's like a must because I have massive amounts of hair. And then the shelf, the place to put all of your shampoos and mm -hmm. conditioners and everything without it flying into the tub. I'm how sorry. Did, how did you decide which of the three sinks you were going to do your makeup at? I don't know. I just <laughs> took the empty one. Um, what do you think of this hotel overall? Like, oh, the, the staff was very, very friendly. Seriously. Um, the room is nice. The kids Bed like it. Bed was comfy. Lots of space. Pillows, good. T huge closet in here for all of our winter gear. Strollers and things, right? Look at my flowers. Look at this flower. So it's pretty. 
It's a short walk down to the Cheers Bar from here, so we have a nice little stroll and a shift or a lunch break. The neighborhood that goes up to the left, if you look up the side streets, is Beacon Hill, one of the most expensive neighborhoods in the city. Beautiful place to walk around in, as is Charles Street. Beacon Hill is where you'll find Acorn Street, one of the most photographed streets in the country. It's all brick and cobblestone lines. Inside of Beacon Hill is the most expensive neighborhood in the city. It's called Lewisburg Square. Home to John Kerry and his wife Teresa Hines Kerry. She's the heiress to the Hines tomato ketchup fortune. Some call her the ketchup queen, but she doesn't relish that title. <laughs> Obviously, those are the upstairs. You're going to hurt yourself going down there. So down these stairs we go. Come around this way, follow James down the stairs. As he said, do watch your step and use the handrails. I will remain above decks in case there's anyone who does not wish to go below. And it does seem that those tea chests are last to the side of the ship. So while you are all below decks, I will hold them back on board. And when you return topside, you are welcome to destroy them as many times as you like. Take some instant portraits of your friends and family doing so. And we can properly blackmail them with later. Oh, yes. Very good. Enter on the right, walk around on the right, and those entering will now allow others to exit on the right. Look at it, you're the first one you managed it. Huzzah! Uh -huh. uh, so you can head right up these stairs, you'll have some time to explore the vessel up top. Thank you. Look at you're so well organized, and you have to use your crowd.
the town. Did you have a fun time on the ship? Yeah. He's boat. He's boat. Yeah. You dump the tea? Tea. Yeah. I see the. I see the cats. We are back at the colonnade on the ninth floor in this amazing, crazy big room having a little glass of red wine because it's Valentine's Day and why not? And it's cold outside so I need to warm up. We went on the trolley tours today which is I think an hour and 45 minutes complete ride if you were to stay on and not get off. But we got off at, where did we get off Oe today? Um, where did we go? Boston Tea. Party. Boston Tea Party ships, and we dumped tea off the Eleanor, didn't we? Yeah. Super cool. Uh, Andrew kind of fell apart. It was definitely <laughs> he had to go upstairs. Nap time, so we took him upstairs to Abigail's tea room and chill for a little while while these guys came up behind us. But like, it was freezing cold out today. Like polar vortex, freezing, and they were still troopers. We were all fine. The trolley is still warm, even though it's winter. We were bundled up. We had fun. And the, there's no crowds. Yeah. But you fell asleep on the bus on yeah. the way home, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. Cozy enough for sleeping. Owen fell asleep on the trolley, too. So hilarious. So we're going to head over to Cheesecake Factory, um, which is right across the street, literally. So we're doing that for dinner. And it's in the Prudential, so we can walk and shop if we want to do that. And we could even, like, just stay here and have room service if we really wanted to because it's cold outside. And it's just nice to get away and be in Boston and do something fun. We have so much space here for all of us. It's awesome. Loving all the space. Like, if I could say one thing about this whole hotel setup situation is the amazing space for a family with four children. Unbelievable. Playing space and my And I see a um a um a bus up I see a bus. There's our trolley bus we were on. No it wasn't. Do you see the trolley? Similar. That's an older one I think than when we were on, but yeah. That's a, that we didn't go on it. So cool. Oh, People are in it right now. Can you hold it? Really dark out. A big tall also, building here. I don't know, some kind of office building, I think. Oh, that's big. That's really big. Oh, what one is that? Oh, and this oh. whole wall is all windows if we wanted to open the blinds. But Which it's, is really cool. It's so cold today, I think it would be freezing. Is that I have, I have right the water. Yeah, but don't spill the water. Come here. The cap is off. Bring it to Mommy. Do you get some? Oh, <laughs> no, just like that. You know, to, like, yeah, just over a little bit, like that. Nope. <laughs> Here. Okay. Drink yeah. it. Chug, chug, chug. Oh, that's a chug, funny way. Chug, chug, chug. No, like you were doing before. Like you were doing before, like this, like this. Like that. Nope, nope. Too much. No, you're not pulling out the candles. <laughs> I did it. You did it. Off to dinner. I don't want to go to the tea Oh, Bye. stop. Oh, look, they're fighting again. He went around twice. He missed it. You could really get hurt fighting in that thing. Please don't. Okay? Go ahead. It's too cold to go slow. I 
I mean, it's cold, but it's kind of exciting because it's so cold and we're in Boston and we love Boston. I mean, you know, Chris and I lived here for years and years and years. Go BU. Go MIT. So, uh... It's, the, it's that one with the two bright I think lights. I the lights on, yeah. The two bright lights on. I agree. So there's our hotel. You see? Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. It was a little chaotic at dinner. Yeah. Sometimes our kids are so bad, especially when you have to wait an hour at the Cheesecake Factory. We didn't have to wait an hour. I think that when you're a party of six, sometimes it can be on the plus side, like when you're waiting for a table, because most of them are like two tops and four tops. When you want the six top, mm -hmm. it comes a little faster. Don't you think? You like to think that. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, they were... They were Okay, so I would say that they were like... They were overtired from a yes, long day. they're tired, but they were like B kids. They weren't terrible, but when they're done eating, and we're still eating, because we get theirs early, you know, like we do that hurry mm -hmm. up, get them fed thing, but they did not earn themselves any cheesecake at the Cheesecake Factory. We didn't get any either. It's okay, we don't need any cheesecake. Oh my God, we do not need any cheesecake. So my belly is now hanging out over my clothes, over my over my jeans, over my waistline. It's like protruding because we have eaten, I think we've eaten more in the last two days than we've eaten in the whole month of January. Like, so we ate all the bread at dinner. Today we were just like, well, I got whatever. Um, wine. I had a margarita at dinner. Frozen margarita because it was so warm out. Yeah. You okay. had beers. Yeah. I got a pulled pork sandwich with bacon on it. What did you have? I had a burger. Burger. Mm. Mm. We had an amazing breakfast downstairs this morning at Brasserie Joe. I had les oeufs. I had a... Um... You had all the eggs? Oh, sorry. Des oeufs. Des oeufs. Some eggs? <laughs> Not all the Thanks, eggs. Thanks, Madame Bramley. Okay. okay. And I had... I had kind of can I tell them what I had? Oh, okay. I had an omelet, and it had ham and cheese. It was yum. Mm-hmm. And I had smoked salmon thing. Smoked salmon thing. Bagel. A bagel. Bagel. We didn't have lunch. No. But we sure had dinner. Mm-hmm. Oh, and I mean, Andrew's belly. Andrew's belly was like protruding. Yeah, he, it was like yeah. mine. We have the same belly. He had a, almost a whole thing of bread. He's like, he more bread, more bread, more bread. Fries, milk. And he had huge thing of milk. And he had um, grilled cheese sandwich. Grilled cheese. Yeah. They, they all ate really well at dinner. It's because we didn't give them any lunch. Well, we can't say that like they were like, didn't eat. No. They ate. Um, yeah. So that was our Valentine's Day. We had a great time on the trolley. Yeah, it was so cold outside. So cold. We're back in our apartment now. This place is killer. It's so giant. Like, this hotel. Best. It's nice. Best space we've ever had? Well, biggest. Like, I mean, that Great Wolf Lodge one is huge. Well, was huge. But the nice thing is that the kids are over there, and we're all the way over there. We said it's actually further apart than our, and our home. Yeah. Upstairs in our house, that they're yeah. further away from us than they are at home. But yeah. they were up at seven. Mm -hmm. They don't Bad. sleep late ever. No. We don't know what we're going to do tomorrow, but we think we're going to do some sort of staying around here. Maybe check out the Prudential Center Mall. What else? Yeah. Walk top of the there. Top of the hub, maybe? Maybe we we'll go up there and have like a snack because that's what the that's guy. The... Yeah, we're planning our next meal. No, but already. The, the guy on the bus, remember he said the, the trolley tour guy. Yeah. He said that there's a, a fee to go to the 
like observation deck. But there's it's free if you just go to the restaurant and have like a snack. Oh, we should go have a snack. Have a, sno- a soda. We like and, snacking. No, but he said you can go up there and have a coffee, sit by the window, and get the same view. I didn't like, hear that. Yeah. Was I sleeping? I don't know what you were doing on the bus. But oh, Owen fell asleep on the bus. That was his big tip, so that's our big tip. We're going to try tomorrow. Andrew fell asleep on the trolley. Yeah. Maybe I was asleep, too. All right, I love this city. Like, I feel like I'm a kid again every time I'm in Boston. Our room is 921, and our our old address was 921 yeah. Beacon Street when yeah. we used to live in on the corner, on the edge of Brookline in Boston. Yeah, St. Yeah, Mary's. Fenway, yeah. yeah. All right, happy Valentine's Day. Give us a thumbs up oh, for this video if you loved it. And don't forget to subscribe. See you tomorrow, guys. Bye.